Hey y'all, what's up? It's Katie here. This is gonna be kind of like a part two to the video that I did. Was it yesterday or two days ago? The one where I had explained how I run 42 Instagram accounts and post 84 reels a day. Um, I have some questions in the comments, some questions beyond like in my DMs and just a little bit of like confusion I just want to clear up a couple little details when I am talking about um, my routine when I go to post on every 42 accounts a day on Instagram so before I get started I will link that guide that got me to the top 0.1% down below and my coaching page if you're interested in that check it out um, I do want to say if you did not see the video prior to right before this about how I post 42 on 42 accounts a day, 84 reels, go check that out because this video will make much more sense if you go check that out. It's kind of like a play off of the other video. So the main question I get asked about when I run these 42 accounts is, do I post the same reel on all 42 accounts a day? And the answer is no. I do not post the same reel on all 42 accounts every day. What I do though is I pick five to 10 reels out of the hundreds that I have in my inventory. I'll pick about five to 10 reels and I will post them amongst those 42 accounts. So bless you. So it's not unusual for me to post the same reel four or five times out of the 42 accounts that I'm posting. So maybe four or five accounts out of the 42 might have the same reel. So I'm not posting one reel to all 42 accounts, like the same exact reel. I'm choosing about five or 10 that day from my inventory of a couple hundred reels that I have in my camera roll to pick different audio and post them. When I do post the same reel, so let's say I post the same reel five times, every time it has a different audio. So it's never the same audio. I always pick a different sound. I pick a different song. Um, one of the posts I might use like the original audio, but I always make sure it's never the same sound. So it's, you know, different and I can see what works as far as like what reel paired with what sound works um, and see like how Instagram pushes that. So that is my number one question. I had said it before in a previous um, video and I kind of said it last video, but I didn't blatantly come out and say, I don't post the same reels, but I post a group of, I choose a group of reels per day to post amongst the 42 accounts. So I just wanted to clarify that um, because it is not me recording 42 different reels a day. Um, like I said, I have a day where I'll do record reels, maybe 10 or 15 new ones a week, and I'll put them in my inventory. And when I post them daily, it's me grabbing them from my camera roll in my inventory. It's not me sitting there making those five to 10 reels. So I just wanted to clarify that. I also get questions on how much I post per day. So recently I have been posting on all 42 accounts twice a day. So that makes 84 reels per day. Um, I post once in the morning on all accounts and then I post once in the evening on all accounts. For me, the best time that works is anywhere from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. and I'm Eastern time. And uh, the best time that works at night is anywhere from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. So 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. is usually when I try to get my rounds done. Um, another question that I get is, do I often share my reels on to my stories? And the answer to that is when I go to post on every 42 accounts per account, I'll usually share one reel. So like I'll log in and I'll create my reel, um, post my reel, and then I'll take a reel from one of my other pages and share that to my story. This does two things. It gives me attraction for that reel and gets my views up. So it's basically my account helping out my other account. And it also allows me to utilize the story feature on Instagram, which Instagram loves when you use their features. And so not only am I sharing it to get views from my other account, but I'm also sharing it in hopes that Instagram picks up that I'm using their story feature and posts or yeah, and pushes my posts even further. 
Um, my another question I get is captions. So like when I save my reels, like I said, they're already pre-made. And so like sometimes I'll have a caption on the video, but whatever caption I have on that video is what I post. If I change up captions on the video, it's never like me changing them up as I post them. It's me changing them the day that I choose to make more reels, if that makes sense. So I'm not, I'm literally logging on to every account. I'm choosing a sound, I'm clicking on the reel and I'm uploading and then on to the next. There's nothing like intricate about it. There's nothing like, there's no secret to it. There's no like abstract way to do it. I literally just log on, I pick a sound, I upload a reel boom onto the next and then i do that 42 times that takes two to three hours but i get a lot of people saying like it takes me like an hour to do three or four reels and if in my opinion if it takes you and now this is if you have inventory i understand if you have to make reels but even making reels for it to take an hour to make three or four you're just looking way too far into it um do simple things the simple the more simple the better you could have a reel that you spend an hour on and post it and it doesn't even get a thousand views and then you could have a reel that you accidentally recorded you didn't even mean to record it you post it and it gets a million views do not focus so much on trying to make the perfect reel it is a waste of time when you try to perfect any type of reels because you just don't know what's going to hit and you don't want to waste your time you know trying to perfect this reel when the outcome could be different and for some reels, I know like this particular reel will hit a million views on one account and then I'll post it to another account, the same reel with a different audio and it'll get, only get a hundred views. And so that's why it's so important to test out your different reels to different accounts because you don't know if it's just a bad reel that isn't like attractive to people and that's why it's not going viral or is it just the time you posted it is it just the account you posted it on is it the audio that you paired it with is it the time of day that you posted it is it luck of the algorithm they didn't push it this time but they pushed it on the other so it's always important to test out and make it as simple as possible do not think about it too much quite literally just log on pick a sound post it boom next 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 and then keep it going. Um, you wanna be smart with your time and you want to be intentional. You don't wanna be wasting time on trying to find the perfect audio, trying to create perfect reel, trying to create perfect caption, just, just do it. Quite literally like Nike, just do it. <laughs> so that are that's like a couple of the things that I wanted to come on and clarify about how much I post with my reels. I hope this gives some clarification and insight on to some of the questions. If you have any other questions, comment below. I probably won't respond to them like via comment. I'll probably collaborate them into a video like I did here just because I get so many questions on how I mass promote so quickly and efficiently. Um, I'd rather just make a video about it because I can spend so much time talking about it and it is very useful information. Promoting is, I feel, 70% of the whole game of OnlyFans. 30% of content creation and running a page. If you don't promote and you don't get people, you don't have I you don't have people to sell stuff to. So I feel like it's very, very important. That's all I have for today, guys. I hope you're doing well. I'll talk to you soon. Can't wait to hear back from you, what you think in the comments. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye y'all.